Spread over the bend of the Aori River in the central dry zone of Myanmar. The boundary of Bagan also traditionally encompasses the relic stupa of Tuyin Hill on the east and Tenchi Hill across the Aori River on the west, as well as the adjacent section of the river, the bend in the river that defines the location of Bagan. This ancient capital city of Myanmar went through a major building spree during the 11th to 13th centuries AD of which over 3,000 monuments remain. In fact, there are even earlier remains from the Neolithic and Pew periods and wonderful architectures and artistic decorations from the 18th to the 19th centuries. existing monuments of over 3,800 in number, along with archaeological vestiges of ancient palaces, water management systems, and fortifications, are a testimony to the highly evolved and significant Pagan civilization from the 11th to the 13th centuries AD. Exceptional architectural and artistic achievements are manifested in the exquisite ensembles of monuments with their intricate ornamentation 
and outstanding mural paintings. This is further attested by more than 400 stone inscriptions providing insight into the culture, history, and language of the Bagan period. The site has Bagan and Nyaung towns and 10 villages where pre-existing living culture heritage has continued from ancient times. The strong Theravada Buddhist culture prevail in the daily lives of the local community and the visiting pilgrims. 
The festivals linked to the pagodas and Buddhist holidays are widely celebrated. Pilgrims visit the various temples and pagodas for private prayers and offering. There are traditional crafts that have survived, such as lacquerware production. Traditional practices pervade the Bagan area, creating a unique ambience of past and present. Monumental temples and modest dwellings, cultivation of the land and time-honored craft production by the region's artists. Traditional rural life may be seen, from farming to animal husbandry, sugar extraction from palm trees, pressing sesame for oil, and abundant river fishing. Handicraft production such as lacquerware is of ancient and present renown. Throughout the year, these seasonal activities are punctuated by a strict calendar of festivals organized by each villages around some of the monuments. The magnificent ensembles and monuments, comprising of temples, stupas, monasteries, 
ordination halls and caves. represent a typology of architecture that developed over three centuries to its apogee in the 13th century. The use of the Vossois brick vault allowed Bagan architects to design wide interior rooms. This is complemented by highly evolved stucco and terracotta ornamentation along with exquisite mirror paintings. However, the threats of development and neglect on the integrity of Bagan are being addressed. Development pressures defined by infrastructure development and expansion of settlements are mainly being fueled by tourism, an important issue being addressed by the management system. Development pressures are threatening potential archaeological sites and will require further detailed investigations and safeguarding mechanisms. Socioeconomic development is also threatening the living cultural heritage. The enormous scale of the site is a potential cause for the threat of neglect, especially of attributes that are not of highest priority. Construction, restoration, and maintenance of religious structures must be acknowledged as a tradition that was the main motivation behind the creation of the exquisite monuments of the Bagan period. A fine balance must be sought between ensuring continuation of traditional merit making and retaining authenticity in respect to material and design. Further threats to the authenticity in Bagan are development pressures, mainly driven by tourism which have brought about physical changes to the site as well as to the social fabric. The local community still practices traditional farming. However, the related hardships and meager income are pushing the younger generation to other activities. The management of the sites, therefore, must ensure that profits gained from the heritage sites and cultural products help safeguard critical cultural attributes and heritage property of Bagan for generations to come.